Hey everybody, this is Patricia and Nimra. Hi. Hey Nimra, how are you? So welcome to my channel. My channel is about ascension, twin flames, healing and love, especially love. So if you're new to my channel, please pay attention. We have a really good topic that we're talking about today. And the topic is money, 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 money. So um, we wanted to talk about some ways that we've personally, um, Nimra on her own and me on my own, and sometimes um, things that just come up throughout your life that involve money and the energy of money and getting away from what people call the energy of lack or limitation. Um, if your manifestor is broken, if you're studying law of abundance and somehow finding it doesn't quite work for twin flame people, and yet you've been activated and you're wondering what's going on, you are in the right place. So yeah, maybe, um, maybe we should just talk about like, you know, first of all, like money does make life comfortable, right? <laughs> yeah. So I, I think this is a particular topic, especially for uh, women, but both men and women, because there's been a lot of codependencies about money, codependencies with families, codependencies with um, somehow significant others or exes. And I myself have had to not only break up my marriage, um, sort out the money part, um, build up again, you know, like my empire crashed to the ground. The thing that I was building for my retirement, when I got divorced, it crashed down and I had to go into this, uh, you know, I was in this numbness and then I had to rebuild. So, you know, maybe, um, maybe you can offer some situation that, uh, you were in. So, uh, when it comes to money for me, um, um, I've been mostly a student for most of my life. I'm in med school, so my parents would always lend me the money. But um, at one point, I felt in my I felt the push that I need to make my own money and break away from my family because it was getting to a point where I was really dependent on them, and I could feel it wasn't a very healthy relationship where every time I was low on money, I had to call them and they had to send me the money. And that was just creating some stress sometimes on both sides. And I've cried sometimes because I was scared that I wasn't having enough money to pay for my tuition and things like that. And then uh, uh, like a miracle, my higher self somehow will send me the money to my parents. But, um, and recently, yeah, just recently I'm graduated and I'm waiting for my residency application, um, et cetera. So, and naturally, as soon as I graduated, I felt the push to just look for a job. And I was just walking the mall and I saw where everybody were hiring. It was for the holidays. So I applied at Express, the clothing store, and they hired me right away. And I also applied at Target, but at the time I didn't receive any answer for them. But then recently they called me for an interview. So I'm going to start my job next week. So I have these two jobs now um, that's going to help me partially to pay for my rent um, and everything else. And also I've started to actually pay for my own rent by myself. So I'm using my credit card and I know very well that I won't be able to pay it off in one, one month, but I'm hoping that slowly as I earn and work with um, Patricia and all of you, um, I'll be able to slowly sustain myself and become independent, which I feel like this is something that is needed when you come uh, into true physical union with your twin. You don't want to be dependent on anybody. You want to be able to fully Im emerge yourself in your union, have fun with your twin, have the means to do it, um, means to travel, buy the things that both of you love, uh, be able to just go and grab a coffee without thinking about oh, how much it's going to cost me or things like that. So I felt like this is um, my responsibility to be in financially uh, independent for my twin at least so um, those are the healthy and mature things you start doing as you ascend in this journey that, that's what I feel yeah 
What I noticed with me is there would be times of distinctly breaking away from people and old patterns. And it was so confusing sometimes because it would feel like I'd been cast adrift. And I had to remind myself that I do have, you know, I do have my soul. I do have my higher self and I'm a twin. And that gives me a lot more power than when I wasn't activated or aware of it. Um, once that happens, I think, well, I think you'd agree with me. Did you find like there was this weird, like coming and going with people, like you can't stand to be with people, then you like to be with people and it kind of comes and goes like, um, like it's something waving in and out of you. Did you find that to be true? So I, I feel that as angelics, we have, there's a, a limitation to how much we can give to people, how much of our attention we can um, display for them. And yes, I, I have felt days where I just don't want to see anybody. I don't want to speak with right. anybody, but you know, you just have to do it because you're at work. But then as soon as I go home, I just kind of like pull the, um, the windows down and I just like to be hibernating, be on my own, commune with my twin. I'll do my exercises, I'll do my own thing and just be by myself. I have felt this, this shift, like where there are days where I just wanna be by myself and days where I'm okay to be around people as well. Yeah, it's a real shift of like self-identification, like where a lot of people who identify with the type of work that they do, you start identifying with who you really are as a lover. And, you know, I have had these times where I'm like, everybody out, everybody just get out. And I tend to be a very more, much more sociable person, but it's been, um, it's been a hard thing for me to leave and go and, you know, have my energy places and yet sometimes it gets so uncomfortable it's like literally I want to pick up my ball and just go home and not play with the other kids sometimes and it's 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 not easy because it can make you feel distinctly like you're you love people but you can't stand humanity or you love humanity but you can't stand people right Especially since I'm doing these two jobs, which, has, which are not at all part of my future career. When I used to be at the hospital doing surgery and seeing patients, for some reason, I always had the, the energy for that. And I always feel the love expanding in my heart, uh, no matter how, much, how many hours I spent um, with patients. But in these jobs, this is mainly just for me to be financially independent until I get a placement for residency. And um, sometimes I do like it. I feel the love and I like it, but um, it's not, but I can clearly see that this is not something that my soul wants to do indefinitely. So there are days where I, I, where I just do the minimum, whatever I need to do for customers. And there are days where I kind of go out of my way if I have to, but it just really depends on how my soul feels. So I try to take breaks, go to the pool, go to the park, do the things that are going to refresh me. Yeah. I think that's uh, what's lacking out there, what I'm seeing and what I'm having and what I personally have been through because I have had other jobs. I've had jobs where we've been super busy. I worked at an auto shop where uh, during November we had so many cars, we were working till 11 at night. It was amazing that when it was busy, we worked as a team and like kind of a well-oiled machine. And when it slowed down, we went into our old patterns. Um, I think that's something that's happening like this year too. Like uh, last year, because of the pandemic, everyone was like, oh, we're all in this together. And now people are back to their old tricks, their old patterns, their old ways of being snide and insulting to each other, if not downright nasty. And I have found this to be kind of hard on me because um, I feel like I came in with this sort of angelic, uh, I don't know, maybe naivete or innocence of like thinking, it was almost like I had to relearn the nastiness here on earth and then, you know, delve in and get away from it yet again. Um, but I do feel that part of the reason is, is not only because now we can, we can literally pick up ourselves and go, but we can also um, 
integrate those connections that can keep us working without any interference. And yeah, when you're at the daily grind, it is still, there are going to be some bad days, but every day doesn't have to be a bad day. And it's funny because sometimes your day can start really bad, but for some reason at the end of the day, it just, it's, it's perfect. It ends perfectly. You can go home, you can relax. Um, yeah, so it's, I don't think it's that bad for twin flames, especially if we have done the body work and we commune with our twin um, regularly. I think if you constantly surround yourself with the love of your, of your union and you do the work, you, you can get through it. Yeah. So, but here's the thing, not everyone's done the work and not everyone has done what is really necessary for their ninth dimensional money and manifesting connections. So it is different because it is much more upgraded version. And it doesn't mean that you're doing this throughout the day. When you, when you do your brand new twin flame body stuff, you will get the results of exactly what Nimra is saying, where you can go home and you shut off the day. You have literally left it at the office, left it at the mall, left it at the store, the hospital, wherever you're working, wherever you're temporarily working, because maybe it's not your real calling. Maybe you're transitioning out of a place. We want this to be as graceful and smooth as possible. You can only do that with your twin flame body, with your light body, because there's brand new connections to, to help you do it. So Nimra is talking because she has done it. <laughs> And, um, and believe me, there's still times when even I, even she, we have had, you know, like sometimes really humanity, like really <laughs> these things are happening. <laughs> we can get away. We want to teach you how to get away. Oh, I just remembered something we should talk about. I call it night and day experiences. Oh, Do you yeah. want to explain what some of those are? <laughs> So from what, from based on my experience, and even when I was a medical student at the hospital, it has, there were these days where everybody, for some reason, were pushing me away, being mean to me. Literally, I felt like I needed to get out of here. And I don't think it was, they were doing it on purpose. I think it was just the energy of just breaking away from old patterns and maybe people releasing things and your soul doesn't want to get it on them. So somehow it's just kind of, uh, so you feel like not going to work. Even if you, are, you have to be at work, you just don't feel like interacting with people and you just want to get through the day and just be quiet. And that's what I would do just to survive until the last minute. And then I would just go, go come back home and just do my own thing. But um and then there are days where it just goes really well. You have all the benefits you, you need, the, all the expectations on it. The people are very nice and very helpful. Um, so you realize that in this journey, you are not the only one that is ascending. You have the whole collective, all other people, may, whether they realize it or not, that release oh. things. And um, so, but doing the work again kind of helps you to buffer all these things. So it doesn't really um, affect you as much as it's affecting the rest of the people. So you are kind of protected with, within your love bubble there. Yeah. I personally call it protect and deflect. And if I wasn't yeah. living through it, I would never believe it. I know that there's people out there that I've told and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, and, and I'm like, how could you not believe in something that supersedes those levels? Let's get on board with starting it up now. Um, it works for me. It's been working for Nimra. We did do a lot of talking during that time that you were going through that because she literally had people against her being snide, downright nasty, like thwarting her, thwarting her efforts to just be good. And you want to say like, are we losing the focus here, people? Are we not here to be a really top surgeon, learn the best way, or are we here for drama? What I want to teach you is how to, how to train people to treat you differently. 
And how I want to do that is through something called entrainment. It's like attunement. It's like strumming a guitar where your vibration actually makes them behave with you properly. Now, they may not be the best person, but they can't be the worst person around you either. You're not going to bear the brunt of their negativity or what's happening in their marriage or what's happening in their household or if their kid went to college or if their kid was sick or if they're gambling and lost at the track or whatever they're doing, it has no bearing on your twin flame union. And those are, that's something that I live by. And, and I think you do the same thing. I do. Uh, sometimes I don't know if it's really the work that I've been doing or just my twin is protecting me and is changing the environment around me, making sure that people are more respectful and loving towards me. So, um, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy about that because I realize again, one thing, when you ascend, you don't want to do that much work. That's one thing I've realized. I, I, before I used to be very hardworking and that's because I came from a family that were very hardworking. Like if, I mean, Indians, wherever they migrate, they want to establish yeah. a business. They work very hard. So I was always like this, but as I started to ascend, I realized that I need that time just for myself, even if it's just to sit, watch a movie and sip a cup of um, tea or something, I need that. Even if it's just a couple of minutes where I can just stare outside and commune with my twin, I'll just go for a walk in the park. I need it because the more and more your angelic side, side come out. And I don't think angels like to work that hard. They like to no. have things come. Human <laughs> angels are not here for the heaviness of the world. And so, uh, yeah, and even when you're with your twin, I don't think you want to be working super hard and then come home tired. You want to be able to still have the energy to be with them and spend time with them. So, yeah, be uh, fresh for each other yeah, without exactly. the taint of the world on you, carrying it into your house. So, into yeah. your. So when you're outside, you don't want the outside world to come inside your home. So doing this work helps you just place it as the word needs to be and not you don't take it take it on you yeah it your twin flame body actually does let you have less is more which sounds weird when you say it because when we talk about abundance a lot of people think more is more and the balance that is natural to you begins to come through you through your twin flame body but not only that the balance for the things in your life your bills, your responsibilities, what you're truly accountable for, what you should be accountable for. How do you get the ex to be accountable for some of the stuff that they should be? Because they have to complain in here a lot with women. You need to work. There's child care. Um, the ex isn't participating. That's like a whole topic onto itself that we can probably talk about one day. But night and day and how do you do these night experiences which are negative and nasty and they're not lethal they're not terrible um in the sense that they will kill you but they can do something to your spirit and your energy and your enthusiasm and the day where the day experience night and day what about the day you know where you're in the light and you feel light and you're enjoying and yeah just like you said not carrying stuff home and also as you do this work uh, because for example yesterday there was this one uh, customer who came and he was in a hurry apparently and he kind of just kept kind of like pushing me and i just quickly uh, did the transaction for him and got him out i i feel like if it if it had happened like a couple of years ago i would have thought that i was not good enough that I wasn't being fast enough or something or something about me made him act this way towards me but now I realize it's just people it's their own luggage their own garbage that they were trying to put on me exactly. and put on others and but and you just brush it off you're like okay yeah. go. can't put go it on you there. protect and deflect that's what I say that's what so, your heart structure the high heart structure is to help you deflect most of that stuff and you know keep your life on an even keel where you're able to get back to enjoyment because like it or not we are paving the way for real lovers to be together that's the direction you do have like really difficult times where 
sometimes you just can't brush it off right away, but you do end up doing it. Like after a good night of sleep, sometimes I wake up in the morning, I don't even, I totally forget about what was even bugging me yesterday. So, but that's because you do the work also. Yeah. Yeah. Doing this body work enables the escape from the world without escaping, without getting hammered, without getting wasted, but without living in the energy of escapism avoidance. Not only does it help us, who does it help? It helps uh, between our three. other half. Yeah. That's the beauty part because your etheric twin is with you. You have an etheric body that contains only the connections to your true other vibrational match. It's only one person in the entire planet. Yeah. So, yes, that's very true. <laughs> so please look in the uh, description below for the links. Join us. We are starting on October 15th. We're starting soon. We will have other dates. And this is um, really going to help you if you have been struggling at work, if you're back to work after the pandemic and you feel like, wow, it's so tough. Everybody has an attitude. Everybody's in a mood. If you're worried about your money connections, if you've been bumping along or you need to expand, you need those ninth dimensional connections for your causal body, okay? The ego break is nothing compared to drifting along without having your causal body connections properly connected and overlapping with your spirit because your spirit subtle body and your causal body need to work together. So um, join me and Nimra. We are your teachers and coaches and healers. And thanks for your time today. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Thanks, Nimra.